Good afternoon. First video of the new year. I didn't make one yesterday, so that means I'm eight videos behind. It's 100 videos in 100 days, but I just wanted to uh, talk about what I did over the last couple of days and uh, at least get this one out of the way. And I don't want to make my videos sound like, you know, it's just something that I have to do, get it out of the way. But I told myself I would do this. Uh, now I'm dedicated towards doing this and I've got eight videos to make up, which means over the next 70 some days, I have to do two videos a day and do a video every single day. But I'm trying to build habits also, so this is part of that. Um, New Year's Eve, I went and took a walk around the Wynwood area. I just stuck around there till 12 o'clock when, you know, fireworks and, and uh, cheering and everything. Uh, but I wanted to see what it was like. I hadn't been down there in quite a while. Now, even before, even before this plague that we've got and, and just less people being out and about, um, Wynwood was starting to go down in terms of, it was a very, and it still is a very artsy community, uh, grassroots types, uh, a lot of a lot of mom and pop type galleries and coffee shops and bars and and uh, places like that. Um, and now a lot of space, it's starting to gentrify. Let me just put it that way: it's starting to gentrify. So rents are going up, and a lot of your community-based mom-and-pop artsy feel of that whole place is is drifting away and it's sad to see it go but that's the way things go a place is is run down or or low rent or whatever and people come in and start to make it real popular and give it a real sense of um, community and a, a, a real good vibe to it. And then the money people come in and screw it up. I've seen it happen in a lot of different places. But anyways, I walked around down there and, and part of that also was just to see if there's any good spots down there to uh, stand out with an acoustic guitar and, and busker. And there's just not enough people. I mean, this was New Year's Eve. They probably have as many people there New Year's Eve on a Thursday, which means, you know, a three-day weekend. They probably had as many people down there as they're ever going to any day of the year. And there just weren't that many people. So that's out. I got to find a place to busker. Right now, with the plague going on, there just might not be anywhere. But I haven't, I haven't gotten out into a lot of places around Miami in the evenings or night, which is when it's best. Um, doing that so I, I've got to continue considering options and going out and seeing what's out there uh, yesterday I decided to try to start the year off right it was actually kind of a slow day given all the things I had planned and didn't do um, one thing I did that was really good though was I got on focus me I'm gonna put a link down below so you can get on there and check it out, but you just, it's just a website, you get on. Uh, it's kind of like a Zoom meeting, but it's you and one other person. And uh, what you do is explain what you want to do for the next 50 minutes in like under a minute. Um, you're not laying out a, a detailed itinerary you're just telling them I'm gonna do a bunch of emails or I'm writing a book or I'm working on a painting whatever whatever you want to do that you're having trouble focusing on you get together with somebody who's having the same problem you're both on computer uh, you're both on camera through the computer and um, that way you're supposed to it's like having an accountability partner but digitally as opposed to in real life. So I tried that. You get uh, three free tries before they ask you to 
subscribe or register or whatever they choose to call it which I am going to do actually I'm going to use it two more times just to make sure just to make sure there's no bugs um, but I found that helpful I you know I I wanted to make these videos this kind of an accountability partner I would make these videos explain what I want to do and then the next video or four videos or eight videos down the line you know however long it was supposed to take I could come back and say I did it or I didn't do it um, <laughs> there's a lot more I didn't do it but the thing is I'm 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 progressing in fits and spurts um, it's not leaps and bounds it's it's fits and spurts and sometimes it's three steps forward one step back sometimes it's three steps forward two steps back but I'm generally getting better all the time uh, and I think the focus made thing is going to help me a lot once I decide to register you know you could you could do it unlimited after that so so you could just schedule as many meets as you want during the day they start every quarter hour and uh, providing somebody else signs up for that time slot all day long you could have somebody watching you work and what better way to what better way to maintain accountability um, and that's part of the problem I've had I have done a lot of work for a lot of different people, a lot of different industries over my lifetime. And whatever the work turned out to be, I mean, there were a couple of jobs I walked off of. It's just like, forget it, you're asking too much. And, and those generally were just day labor jobs where it's like you're getting paid minimum or close to minimum. And it's like, dude, no, I'm not going to do that for what you're going to pay me, no goodbye but you know generally you you clock in in the morning you've got certain things you're expected to do and no matter what they are no matter how hard they are no matter how much you dislike them you want that pay at the end of the day or the end of the week or whatever you're gonna do it no matter how much you grumble under your breath no matter how much you bitch to your co-workers about how much this sucks you still do it and then the end of the day you clock out and you go do what you want hopefully uh, without that time clock and that boss and that threat of getting fired if I don't do what I'm supposed to it's hard for me to maintain the discipline and motivation and just as a side note here I've watched a whole bunch of videos I'm doing what exactly I'm trying to achieve here, which is just like to to keep it simple, just to develop a certain work ethic, which is exactly what I have when I clock in to a place where they can fire me, but I don't have when I'm working for myself. So I'm trying to develop this work ethic. And one of the things that I have discovered through watching these videos and then taking that mindset into my own experience is motivation outside of whatever it is you want to do motivation is fleeting it comes and goes and you can't wait for it a lot of times the only motivation you're going to find is once you start the task and after you've committed yourself to doing this thing for a certain period of time uh, you will find you will find the motivation grows out of simply doing the task itself so a lot of times it's just a matter of getting started no matter how you feel which is one of the things I'm trying to incorporate into everything I do it's like I don't care if I feel like doing it I'm gonna do it how I feel doesn't matter the fact that I said <laughs> the fact that I said when I was sitting outside or laying in bed at night or laying in bed in the morning or whenever wherever the fact that I said this is the thing I'm going to do if I don't feel like doing it now that has nothing to do with it I already told myself this is the thing I'm going to do now I do it 
that's a very hard characteristic for most people to develop, I believe, but it's something I'm working on. So uh, I've just got some sketchy notes here that I'm going by. It's not even a real script, but today I woke up late and I uh, missed something I wanted to do <clears throat> this morning because of that and I was a little upset with myself because actually what I did was I looked at my clock just before I went to bed and I thought the alarm was set and it wasn't so that was real stupid but I got over that re rather quickly I I berated myself and was upset with myself for a couple of minutes and then came to the conclusion this is not where I want to be mentally just put that behind you and continue on with your day. So I managed to get through that. Um, and that's more and more of the mindset that I'm able to latch onto. Part of a big thing I think that I am getting better at is just being, just being more aware and especially self-aware and capable of determining okay, I'm, I'm mentally stuck in a rut. I won't be able to do anything before I change up my thinking. And, and realizing that and actually being able to change up my thinking because that's where it all starts. Some people will tell you, you gotta act and then your thinking will follow. And in terms of like the motivation, well, thinking and feeling are not exactly the same thing. So they, they need to be handled differently but but in terms of the motivation you got to start working on a project before you're actually going to get into it a lot of times because a lot of times you're going to look at that project and think i don't want to do that and if you go with that then you're not going to do it and it's never going to get done if you look at the project and think i don't want to do that and you do it anyways try it out but, uh, well, I wanted to make this video. I wanted to talk about Focusmate. I'm going to put the, oh, by the way, while I was on Focusmate, I, I had a very specific plan in mind. I was just, it was something I had been thinking about for a while and it was real easy to do. I just didn't do it because there were always more important things to do or once I got on the computer, I'd get distracted by YouTube videos or whatever. But I just wanted to make kind of a generic email to send out to a bunch of uh, companies about, uh, well, a bunch of a bunch of plant slash nursery type places, landscaping places, whatever. I made a planner out of a uh, pallet that I was going to put outside here. And the guy who manages the building said, no, you can't put that outside. So now I have to get rid of it. It is on Craigslist. I'm going to put a link for it down below. But the thing is, I just wanted to make more or less a generic email that said, look, I made this thing. I've got to get rid of it. And this email is not about that, but I could make as many of these as you want if you're interested in this kind of thing whatsoever or anything made out of salvaged wood, actually. And uh, believe me, the way I worded it was way more sophisticated than that. Um, but I managed to, I managed to type that out in a few minutes and then I managed to do a search of area companies and send out, uh, you know, get the email address for a few of them. Some of them don't have an email address, but get the email address for a few of them and send out the email. And this was in 50 minutes. And, um... I want to continue doing it until I find a place that says, yeah, I like what you're doing. Bring one by, let's talk. So, and that may never happen, but I won't know unless I keep sending out emails and, and cover every single company in the area and nobody's interested. So, you know, I, I at least got that ball rolling and all it took was getting on Focusmate, telling the other person what I wanted to do they told me what they wanted to do and it's like okay let's go and I just started working she started working and 50 minutes later the alarm rang and we spoke for a few seconds and uh, hey I got something done that I had been thinking about 
for a while and it's just like so easy to do but I couldn't dedicate the 50 minutes and the concentration to doing it until I got on focus me so that was a help you know at this point any tool that I come across that looks like it's going to bring into my life the things I am trying to do and cannot do by myself seemingly or just am not doing by myself I'm going to use those um, and that's one that's what I'm doing now I've got a patreon link below please subscribe like ring the notification bell while you're here and I thank you for watching and if you didn't watch well then what's wrong with you man Talk to you tomorrow. Good afternoon. This is a 3D spiral based on the Fibonacci sequence. I call it a matte spiral because I made it and I think I have naming rights. If anybody has seen one of these before or since, quite frankly, uh, please let me know. But I am just making a short video of this because I know when I get it in front of the right person, they're going to want to contact me and uh, they may want one of these. It could be a public works project that just keeps getting bigger as the sequence gets bigger. But as I said, I'm quite sure that I'm the only one who's ever made one of these because I could not find another one either in real life or either um, just a design of one in 3D. So, there you go. If you're interested in this or you know anybody that is interested in this kind of thing, let me know. Thanks for watching.